on this episode, we're going to Denver, to Thompson Street Customs, because they are building a custom car for our friends at Kendall Motor Oil. They were so gracious to invite us out and partner up on showing you guys a behind the scenes on a 67 Shelby Mustang they're building. We can't wait to see this car. They had us out to see a behind the scenes look at this rig and I'm so, I'm just off. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Let's stop. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it's time to go in here. I haven't even walked in yet, and I see that they've wrapped the whole wall of the lobby with the artwork design that Robert Jr. did of the car, so I'm really excited to see that. It looks pretty killer. Let's go. Man, this is freaking impressive. Look at the size of this. Good morning. Good How morning. How are y'all? I'm Emily. Doing? Robert. Nice to meet you, senior. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for having me. This is an impressive deal when you walk in. You're like, dang, this is the real thing. And shirts too. That's so neat, y'all. Yep. Well, cool. Take me through. I'm excited to see the shop. Sweet. Let's go. It's all pristine and fancy. <laughs> Gotta keep the fancy. Show me the Mustang. Oh, dude. Man, the trans tunnel on this thing is giant. Yep, that's the Kendall Custom. You can tell nothing on this rig is stock. The Kendall Motor Oil Company has already produced three episodes in a series called Titanium Garage. And just to familiarize myself with this car, I watched those episodes. So I learned that it's got a Roadster Shop fast track chassis. And you guys are doing a coyote swap with twin turbos. I don't know what transmission you're running. Are you running the auto, the 6R80 auto? 6R, it's an okay. automatic. Yeah. So, hence the huge trans tunnel. Yep. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to need to be that big, though. That's that's massive. Chassis is down. It's all welded to the car and everything, so okay. it's it's that's all really stiff. The, the yep. chassis and the body are permanently together now. Yep. If you knew the extent we went to with the amount of work that went into this car, just the body itself has had. I mean, I, I can't even Man add up hours. the amount of hours that are into this. Gosh. Everything on it's been changed. The firewall, the floor. You know, it's it's kind of crazy to buy a brand new thing and then pretty much just start use the, the skin of it because that's all we're really using. It makes so much sense to start with a fresh body though instead of trying to make a, an old body new again. Okay, let's walk around her. All these side skirts. This. So this is where you changed the side of the car. Oh, and the door handles. So these are the uh, flush mount door handles. I forget what side it is. It basically Ooh, pulls one side in oh, and it pops cool. out. that's cool. Sort of like the I Teslas try and stuff. It. Oh, that's awesome. Probably don't even have to slam it through. Oh yeah, you don't have to slam it. Like all the junk we drive. I want to look inside the, the, the way it wraps around and extends to the door panel is really unique. When I drew it up, it was kind of just based off of what we normally have in a, in a Mustang. So once we got the car here and we got down, sat together and sat in the car and just sort of brainstormed everything. We talk about, you know, with Kendall, how much technology they put into everything. So we wanted to have as much technology into the car, make it look like that, 
but we also wanted it to be relevant 10 years from now. If you look and if you're in, you know, you're in a modern day sports car, whether it's Corvette, Lexus, Ferrari, Bentleys, whatever it is, everything is sort of focused on the driver. Right. You know, so where you don't have to take your eyes off the road. And that's what we wanted to do with this. I'd love to see the rent. I'd love to pick the car up and take a gander underneath because that's yeah. like, that's up. the beauty nobody sees on a car like this, and especially with the Roadster Shop chassis. Wow, that exhaust system first off is super impressive. So the, was Roadster Shop those, I don't know what to call that billet piece, it's almost like a cross member yeah, that goes around the exhaust. Okay. Yeah, drive shaft comes through there. Then we have uh, all the four the links set up for the rear end. It's got all the coil over shocks, strings, axles. It's got the 373 gear. I was going to ask what gear ratio. Cool. So that's a good gear for the highway. Are we going to drive it on the highway or? Yeah, that's why we kind of went with that gear ratio so they can, it's, it's suitable for the street and highway. And then we have that cool uh, billet piece that'll be going in here. So this is basically going to be your Kendall logo, and that'll sit right up front. And I'll then hold it there and you, can... you got the two little fins that just sort of yeah. go inside of it. And once it's all said and done, these pieces are going to get all polished and then brushed. The thing I find so cool about the Kendall Motor Oil brand is they're so old school, like came around in the 1800s, yet. They do all of the newer generation oils that, you know, like the, the GT1 Max is the full synthetic oil that we run in all the new engines, like the LS and the Coyote, and they've got all the viscosity options that you need. Then you add the element of the titanium in there, and I'm sure that's a highly important element for you guys with the turbos, because that creates so much more heat. And from my understanding, the titanium bonds to the areas of the engine that need like that create the most heat that are gonna be wear point. That's where the titanium fuses to and it really helps with reducing friction and you know, making your engine last longer, which is so cool to me. Okay, speaking of turbos, I'm ready to see them. Okay. Let's go look. <laughs> Man, look at these turbos. So yeah, the whole mirror image thing is like so evident. And like you said, when you pop the hood, this is just gonna be like, yep. oh, angel singing. We're gonna put a nice cover. We're gonna make you some know, of your really, handiwork on yeah, there with it see all the wires and stuff. That's the only downside I ever see with new motors is all the wiring I know. and all the hoses. And well, all that. it's like the, the modern advantages of having yeah. all of, all you know, the control units and, and everything that we can monitor and change things on the fly inside the cab comes with a bunch of wiring. This is going to drive like a brand new oh, or yeah. even maybe better, better than a brand new car because of all of the modern aspects that you're converting it over to. You guys, this is really, really cool. You are gonna watch the Titanium Garage series based on the build of this. And you'll recognize Bill because he's the host of that series and he does such a good job on camera. Your voice is just perfect for that. <laughs> but you've been in the industry super long time and you're well known for what you do. So tell us, here's tell the what viewership. I, here's what I've been doing in case you missed it. Yeah. Uh, lifelong Motorhead, got into television, uh, 1989, uh, producing shows, finally got on camera. I did the NHRA, I did NASCAR, I did IndyCar. People tell me that I've probably been on more networks doing more automotive and motorsports programming than anybody. I don't know if that's true, but I would say... That's a cool title! That gives me the proper qualifications for this. He is why they have twin turbos bolted to this engine. <laughs> These uh, Crate Coyotes have 435 horsepower. Right. And I said, yeah. You know, I think for a car like this, you probably need a little bit more sugar in there. So we talked about it and came up with the idea for the twin turbochargers making over a thousand horsepower. Absolutely. And everybody said, yeah, that's the way we should, <laughs> we should go with it. You know, the exciting thing about this is that the whole world is going to get to see the finished Kendall Custom later on this year at a Meekum Collective Car Auction. And I can tell you, jaws are going to drop when oh, they yeah. see this much. It's going to be amazing. Yep. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. I'm going to be there. <laughs> I'll get you in for free. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> well, I'm so happy I got to meet you. Me too, and thanks for remembering all the nice things I told you to say about me. <laughs> this guy's got all the jokes. <laughs> Thank you guys for taking me around the shop. The car is 
looking so amazing and I can't wait to see it come together. Yeah, no it's going to be so cool. Welcome back anytime. Are, thank you. Y'all are doing an awesome job.